Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb Magento 2 plugin instruction video. You're going to want to head over to GitHub, Paygate, PayWeb Magento 2 and jump onto the releases tab or if you have a direct link that's also great. You're going to then want to download Magento 2.2.3 Paygate PayWeb 3 plugin 2.2.5 which is the latest version of the plugin at the time of this recording. You may have a more recent version and that's also great. After downloading this file, you're going to want to save it to a convenient location. I've saved it to the desktop, I'm going to extract it. Inside this folder, you're going to see your instruction PDF and you're going to see a folder with a bunch of other files inside there. So let's go through the installation instructions. So we're going to skip step one because you've already extracted this main zip over here and we've got this folder. But if you are unable to extract zips on your operating system, you can download an unzipping application such as WinZip. There are many others available on the internet. Just jump onto your Google browser and start searching for unzipping application and see what you can find. So step two is we're gonna upload the Paygate folder, this folder over here, into your Magento directory. For instance, in the case of this, we'll have Magento root folder app code. If the code folder does not exist, please create it. Okay, so we're gonna jump onto um, FileZilla. If you are using this via direct S SFTP or FTP, or you have direct access to the server, that's all fine. But do be careful, if you are uploading the files and you are not using an FTP client, you can sometimes upload them with the wrong user and you can have permission errors. Magenta 2 is a very sensitive application, so please be careful when uploading the files. We recommend using FileZilla. You can use other FTP applications. I'm gonna open up the app, code, directory, and I'm going to upload the Paygate folder. Now just be careful here, there are two Paygate folders. The way Magenta 2 works, you have to upload both. So don't jump into the secondary folder, go into your root directory where you have your PDF, and you have your Paygate folder and upload that. Once complete, you can close your FTP application. You're now gonna open up your terminal. You'll need some version of terminal, um, whether that's directly on the server or it is via SSH. If you don't understand SSH or the server, we highly recommend you get your developer involved. Magento 2 is quite a beast and it does require some technical knowledge. You may already be familiar with these steps and if so, please bear with us as we run through them. Jump into your document root. As you can see, there are a number of commands here. It says run the below commands to install the Paygate plugin where Magento file system owner is the primary web server user. Ask your web hosting provider if you're unsure. There's a few other ways you can do this. If you are within the Linux terminal, you can write ls-la and you can get your user and your group. So the user in this um, I'm selecting on this particular server. And so I would be saying sudo minus u, meaning super user do, and then the user selected would be the user which I picked up here, which is web52. And then I will copy the rest of this, this command, which would be php bin magento module enable paygate underscore paygate. Now basically what I'm doing here is I am running these magento commands from the magento root. So from your document root. This is quite a technical process. So if this is confusing, please do refer back to your developer. It's much safer to rather let them do this as the step is quite technical. In this case, I have already run the command. It says no modules were changed, but if the module was changed, it will give a listing. Um, and once the command's done, you can do the second command. To save some time, I'm gonna just copy the first part of the command, the sudo minus u, and then I'm gonna do the next thing, which is magenta setup upgrade. So you gotta let it finish doing what it needs to do. 
there you go it's upgraded now we're going to run the next step okay sudo minus u web 52 and it's um, set up di compile it's very important it's now compiling the modules and all the code while we're waiting here i will quickly copy the sudo minus u web 52 for this test server if you don't do the sudo minus u and then the file system owner you're going to have permission errors so this is quite important now this is where i differed slightly you can do it in the order that's got listed there but i'd like to say cache clean first then i like to do the um, indexer indexer re-index and then finally i do static content deploy if your website has been set up as a dev system the static content deploy will give you an error message so i'm going to just demonstrate what that looks like as so this is a dev setup manual static content deployment is not required in default and developer modes so if you are on a developer environment and you don't want to spend ages waiting for your checkout to load when you try and test it you can write a minus f flag at the end and that's going to force it i find the step it's worthwhile doing if you are on a dev setup because it does save some time at least in my experience we're nearly done so now we, we can exit this and to now log into our magenta backend and we're going to navigate to stores configuration sales payment methods and then click on pay gate when we're done with configuring the modules we're going to click on the save config button so we're here on the magenta 2 backend we're going to click stores we're going to click configuration we then go to sales payment methods so we select paygate um, enabled title test mode yes or no uh, the allowed shipping methods the paygate id and secret key you you must enter your details as supplied via paygate but in this case this is the test details you can change the allowed countries and you can change the successful order status once you're done you're going to hit that save config button you may want to hit the go to the cache management page now that we've done everything and just refresh the full page caching or all of them depending on what you're wanting in this case this is invalidated so i'm just going to hit that refresh button and the cache types are refreshed let's see what it looks like here we are on the checkout page we're going to hit the paygate plugin and we're going to say place order Now redirect to Paygate, and there we are on the payment page. We get the test transaction warning message, and as you can see, everything is configured. Congratulations, you've now set up the Magento 2 Paygate plugin on your website.